Today we're talking about resistance and resistivity. In this problem it says at what temperature will aluminum have a resistivity that is two times the resistivity of copper at room temperature. So we're going to look at our equations and uh, what we're working with is going to be uh, what we need to know when we're converting uh, with temperatures and these different elements with resistivities is a term called alpha or the temperature coefficient of resistivity. And so first let's determine what equation we're going to use and if you look through your book the one that seems most suiting is going to be this P final which obviously we know P is resistivity so the final resistivity of aluminum is going to equal the initial resistivity times 1 plus alpha which is the temperature coefficient of aluminum times T final minus T initial or T minus T naught however you want to uh, write it down alright so let's see here so let's start with this initial resistivity so the initial resistivity is going to be uh, the resistivity of aluminum and when you look that up in the book uh, you're gonna get 2.82 2.82 times 10 to the negative eighth ohm meters All right. and what we want to get the, the the final resistivity is going to be two times the resistivity of copper so first we look up the resistivity of copper and it's going to be 1.7 so let's just write this out real fast so P of copper is 1.7 times 10 to the negative eighth now we want two times resistivity so times 2 it's going to equal 3.4 times 10 to the negative eighth so that's what we want our final resistivity to be so for P final right here we're looking at 3.4 times 10 to the negative eighth ohm meters all right so see so uh what do we got now what's left is this uh alpha this uh temperature coefficient of resistivity so when we look up that we're going to be using obviously aluminums because that's what we're working with so you look that up and that is going to give you 3.9 times 10 to the negative 3 uh, degrees Celsius to the negative 1 and we're just going to write this because it's going to get real jumbled up pretty soon so anyways now so what is TF well we don't know TF that's what we're solving for so TF is still a mystery and TI or T initial or T naught uh, is going to be 20 degrees Celsius and we only use that because that's a standard temperature uh, that is just basically a standard temperature that we use when working with these elements and it's pretty it's just kind of like a baseline temperature alright so the first thing so now we have those inputs uh, we need to solve for TF so let's rewrite this so we can solve for TF so let's say P equals P naught times 1 plus alpha times T minus alpha times T initial or we're just going to put T naught T naught alright so now we got inside the brackets. Now 
we say p equals, so you take this p naught times, and you're going to multiply p naught times 1, p naught times this little section right here, and p naught times that little section. So you get, uh, well, let's just, let's just do a different color here for p naught. So you got p naught plus p naught times something times this. Uh, well, let's just write it out real fast. Okay, so then minus p naught times this. So then you got your alpha, and you got your t final, and then you've got your alpha, and you got your t naught. All right, so we've got p equals p naught plus p naught times alpha times temperature final minus p naught times alpha times t naught. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to algebraically what we need to find is this t. So we're going to have to subtract this to get it over on the other side, and we're and we're going to have to get this p over here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is. Uh, I'm underlining this red because this is what we're going to take over to this other side. So we've got a negative p naught times alpha times t equals, and so this one's coming over here, which is why that's negative, and this p is coming over here, equals a negative p plus right here. P naught minus this whole thing right here minus P naught times alpha times T naught. Alright. <clears throat> All right, so now what we got is let's do this. So these ones are going to be multiplied together so far, and so are these. So we need to get t by itself. So we're going to we're going to take this and we're going to divide it down here. So those cancel out, and we're going to take this. And we're going to divide it by negative p naught times alpha. All right. So then that's going to give you your temperature, and that. Let's see here is what we're going to work with. So let's keep these in order here. Let's use. Uh, okay. So now we're going to say. Uh, let's see here. So P. So we're going to say negative 3.5. Oh, actually, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to come down a little bit here. All right, so we're gonna say uh, for for this negative p, we've got uh, 3.4.4 times 10 to the negative eighth. And this is negative plus this p naught. And we're going to use different colors to kind of separate the P's from the P naughts and the T's and T naughts. So P naught, uh, we determined up here is going to be 2.82 times 10 to the negative eighth. So plus 2.82 times 10 to the negative eighth minus 2.82. 2.82 times 10 to the negative eighth. Now this is going to be multiplied by each other, okay? And so, and then we've got uh, alpha, which is 3.9, 3.9 times 10 to the negative third, and then our initial temperature, which was 20 degrees Celsius. 
and then we're going to take this over P naught, negative P naught, or negative P naught, uh, which is so negative 2.82 times 10 to the negative 8 times this 3.9 up here, 0.9 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, so, and then what you're going to do is, hang on a sec here, uh, so this assuming bracket, you want to do this first because you you might look at this and you might say, oh, I got this 3.9 times 10 to the negative 3, I got one right here, I can just cancel them off, but you can't do that because technically if you wanted to look at this, it would be this negative P naught times alpha under each of these terms. So it would be negative 3.4 times 10 to the negative eighth divided by this, 2.82 times 10 to the negative divided by that, and then this full thing divided by this. And that's why you can't do that. So first you're going to multiply and then you're going to take care of these terms and then divide it by those terms. All right. So when you do that, you're going to be left with uh, seventy-two point eight degrees Celsius, and uh, that's pretty much the final answer. So, so you get t t final is going to be seventy-two point eight degrees Celsius, and at that temperature, at that temperature the resistivity of aluminum, which remember this is the initial, will in fact turn to twice the resistivity of copper. So at 72.8 degrees Celsius, the resistivity of, res resistivity of aluminum will turn to this 3.4 times 10 to the negative 8. Alright, hope that uh, helps.